And hello guys, we're back to Kenshi, and we are fleeing the Holy Empire over there, and oh gosh, I thought these dogs weren't gonna attack us because I thought they were friends of Belgar's, but I guess Belgar, oh yeah, that's right, he gave us the, uh, the, the look. He said, ah, oh, I don't know these dogs, all right, here. Okay, so let's go ahead and take off our backpacks. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I was I was expecting a nice intro. All right, back to war. Oh, Belgar got knocked out by some dogs. Budkai, help on out, help out, man. And, uh, and we could probably put Firehawk down too, but ah, uh, whatever. We'll just we'll just hang on to her. She's not knocked out or anything. She's just really slow. So, but okay, we'll go ahead, take care of business. <laughs> there we go. Down, down, doggy head, Suki. Come on, go ahead, take care of this, this doggy hair. And then we're gonna head on back home, build up some walls, make the place a little cozier for uh, because our our cause is is expanding quite a bit. Get new members every day or every other day, every week. So, all right. Um, wake up, Belgar. Wake up gonna wake up and of course not a moment has passed by in this desert where we're not already in another fight so we are fighting for our lives once oh no it does bandits oh, I don't know about this oh I really no 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 we can't we can't do all this this is way too much way too much oh we gotta escape we have to run but we can't leave Belgar behind Belgar where are you there you are ah, bah, bah. okay hmm uh, yeah, maybe we could do it. Maybe we could do it. Let's try it. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, yeah! Slash him up, boy! Woo! All right. I'm seeing a lot of green. I'm seeing some red. Our girls aren't knocked out yet. Bud Kai's still doing good. As long as he doesn't get hit in the chest, he's gonna be fine. <laughs> oh, that's right. We got Hungry Bands versus Dust Bandits 2. Set might help us. Hatsuki's out. Uh, but she might come to eventually. Um, I'm gonna tell Bud Kai to stop taunting, because that's like, that's like, I don't know. Because we want Hungry Bandits to fight the Dust Bandits. This is amazing! Yes! Go! Oh yeah, we're doing great! Firehawk's doing a great job! Bud Kai found another... Oh, this is... I can't believe it! We might actually make it out of this! I'm seeing a whole ton of green. There's a whole bunch of good. That's what's happening around here. A whole bunch of good. This, this uh, heavy armor is slowing down Bud Kai a little bit, but my goodness, he's so resistant to damage. I mean, like, for real. His, his damage absorption... It's like off the charts, <laughs> even though he attacks a little slower. I mean, like he got, look, he just got hit in the stomach. He's like, what was that? He didn't even get knocked back or anything. He didn't get like stunned or anything. <laughs> oh, we also need to get him a noted sheet too, a two-handed katana, katana. Oh my gosh, Belgar's back in the fray. Look at this guy go. Look at him go. He's taking him out. I am so happy. I'm so happy with Belgar's progress. Good job, Belgar. All right, now go to blocking, honestly. Honestly, go to blocking. Yeah, yeah, work on your block skills, because I think his block skill is at like, it's at like five or something. <laughs> wow! All right, no, go, go back to attacking. Yes! Yes! Tactics, man, tactics. I can't believe we survived all of that. We are getting so good. Oh, look at that nonsense out there. Oh, the ninjas finally found someone from last time. All right, finally heading home. Unbelievable. Unbelievable amount of... Oh, look, Belgar has found his sense of duty. He is going ahead and banging people, banging his teammates. He's like, I'm part of the crew. I'm selfless. All right, we survived. And all oh, the ninjas, the ninjas are right here, just within our reach. Oh, I'd like to take these guys out and just like take their stuff. Actually, I don't know. The, the ninja blades aren't really that good. They're kind of good. I don't know. We need to find actually that one that this guy's using right here. It looks kind of good. Usually, when the when the hilt is colored like that, little tan color, it usually means good. But Bud Kai is so slow. My goodness gracious. All right, it's gonna take uh, an eternity to get back home. But they seem they seem to be going kind of like to our base, kind of like to the Ninja Bros base. So we might hit them up on the way there. Other than that, it's just it's just desert for miles, man. This this is gonna be arduous trip. And on second thought, you know what? I just wanna be friends with these guys. These ninjas. Oh my gosh, they're attacking! Never mind, we can't be friends with them. All right, I was just like we're just walking by, being all innocent and peaceful, and. I thought we were just gonna be friends with them, you know? Like, I really just thought we were just gonna be friends with them. Ah, uh, let me get Firehawk down. She can fight. I'm just, I'm just, you know, I don't feel like, okay, all right, all right. Oh, okay, Belgar, get ready. Belgar, just block. You cannot fight in this fight for real, because you're gonna, don't be flat-footed either. Come on, do this. Do this whole blocking thing. Do it now. Hatsuki, do this now. Yes, attack all. There we go. Boom. Bud Kai. Oh, I don't even have to tell Bud Kai. He's already, <laughs> he's already like, boom. Oh, get up. Oh, all right, get down. Come on, get up, get it, get down. Boom. There you go. Belgar just didn't even know what hit him. All right, his ninjas in town, man. Ninjas in town. Oh, we're fighting on the top of the dune. This is so cool. Well, it looks like Belgar's gonna get some new clothing. Oh, two hits on one slash. I love that kind of stuff. That's why we need to get bigger blades. Bigger. Bigger blades. We gotta go to, like, I think Trader's Edge has, like, noted cheese or something. 
somewhere. We just gotta find someone who sells them. Definitely none of this Holy Empire stuff. Wow, we're taking these guys out like cotton candy. I can't believe it. Alright, Spilgar. <laughs> He's gonna be alright. He's gonna be alright. So we got some new equipment here. New equipment. Let's take a look. Any, uh, any good grade stuff? Not really. It's okay, though. We got some more stuff for him to wear. And everyone's so happy to finally get home. Belgar is actually the first one here, and he, he knows exactly where to go. He's like, this must be the flop house. And he just went right in there and just dropped on the bed. He's like, yes, this has been too much for one day. And Bug Cat's gonna go ahead and put down Firehawk. She can go to bed, too. We kind of need, like, another bed. Actually, yes, that's right. We need, we need a lot of things. We need a lot of things going on around here. But everyone is at least equipped with kind of basic stuff. Belgar still needs some shoes. And he needs better grade equipment, though. He really does. Yeah, yeah, and we need some more of these hats. More hats. More hats all around. So, okay. Gonna wait till morning. Gonna rest up. What guy's gonna patrol the area here? Do we have any loot? No, no loot. We don't really don't need loot. Yeah, we'll be fine. Alright. Uh, I guess what guy's actually gonna get to mining while everyone sleeps? We got, we got a big busy day ahead of us. Mm-hmm. Sounds like the mining operation is going very well. Everyone's busy! And Budkai is planning some engineering projects here. Let's get a look at the menu here and see what we can build around this place. Actually, what do we even want to do with this base? That's a better question. I think we do want to make some cloth. Once we find uh, some of those assassin rag schematics, I do want to start producing some stuff like that. And I think we might need leather or cloth for it. Ah, uh, so how big should we make the walls? We're gonna need a little farming area. We're gonna need a few things, a few things to be real ninjas, and we gotta get some skills up, we gotta get some trades up, so, hmm, what to do? Okay, and I'm starting to think we got a little lay of the land here, I'm just putting down everything that we, I think we need, so we'll have a well kind of like in this back area here, so we'll just kind of go grab water whenever we need it, right there, just like that, confirm, okay, so, alright, so we have the large house here where we're gonna have our medic, Slash, uh, cloth crafting area, I think, maybe even leather working, we could probably fit all that in this house. Uh, we have a flop house over here, which pretty much, uh, I, I put in a few additional beds. Oh, but can I don't start on this, you non- that's a bunch of nonsense. Alright, and then we're gonna start building the walls now. Now this, this is like the part where we can start building walls. Actually, let's, let's get on the beds, man. Get on the beds first. Yeah, do, do that whole bed thing. There we go, but can I go do that. So we'll, uh, well, so we have five beds, we have water well, we have a little hemp farm over here. This house over here, and now we can start putting up the walls, I feel. Alright, so let's get around to doing that. Walls, I want a simple wall, because this is a little ninja, hidden ninja fort, kind of. So, I don't want anything too complicated, and I want to lure enemies through our main gates. So, so we can just kind of shoot them up with our, with our, um, weapons, with our artillery. So let's see here, we'll go, we'll go do something like this. And then we'll kind of lead him in. Like, I think the entrance is somewhere this way. And the Death Bowl has been created! Our base is now fenced in. Well, it's, it's not fenced in. It's really just blueprints in progress. But <laughs> we have this crazy, crazy entrance here with this makeshift wall, this makeshift entrance gates. And this is pretty much going to be like our firing position right here. We'll have a bunch of crossbow Mark IIs. Right over here, we'll be shooting at enemies as they try to come on in. <laughs> Very strange looking, uh, very strange looking base, but I like it. It's very ninja-esque, I suppose, in the middle of the desert. And we grow our hemp here for our clothing, of course. So, alright, um, I think it's time to head out on a trip. I'm, I'm having an itch for some better gear. I really want some better gear. I want, like, another person to join our group, join our cause, because I feel like there's more people out there that are looking for some freedom. So, I think, uh, I think we might head south this time around. Check out a few more. Actually, I, I do want to check out Trader's Edge. I want to see what kind of blades they have there, what kind of trouble we can get into with the United Cities. Maybe we can get some better swords. And also some shoes for Belgar. Come on. Seems like there's some raiders here that are up to no good. Oh, they're coming in right through our makeshift walls that are not built yet. Okay, and I'm guessing they're not asking they're not asking if we have a spare cup of flour for them. No, no, they're probably going to attack. Alright, everybody, everybody, battle stations. Let's let's actually get rid of all of our jobs. It's enough time for uh yeah, it's, it's enough of these jobs for now. We're just gonna go to the combat and we're gonna take off and we're gonna go on an adventure right after this, more uh more or less. Alright, so let's attack all. Everybody get on into it. Oops, and get everyone's backpacks off too. My goodness. Alright, here we go, here we go. Oh, okay, okay. Alright, so Belgar. 
You might want to stay on defense. Actually, he's doing pretty good. Oh, gosh. You know what? Go on defense, man. Go on defense. You need the... What, what are you at? Actually, he's pretty darn decent. Yeah, go back on offense. All right. Well, wow, everyone's coming along, growing so well. Wow. We just took that guy out over there pretty fast. Hitting for 59 with a katana. Now I've seen everything. Wow, that's really good. And everyone's hanging in there. Hanging tight. I don't know about this space. I might change the walls. <laughs> this is like kind of chaotic here with all this makeshift stuff going on everywhere. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see uh, over time. But this is definitely going to be a large project, though. We can't just do this over the span of a couple days, though. This is like... This is like a lot of a lot of building materials. A lot of manpower. We'll get there eventually, though. This is like a rough idea. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know. You won't put up some other crazy stuff around here. I'll go ahead and like throw some stuff up. But yeah, these guys were pretty easy. And we binged up, and we are ready. Yeah, we're ready to go. Alright, let's go to Trader's Edge. Let's see what we can find there. We're gonna go right here. Lo and behold, we found some ominous dust bandits dead laying here in the middle of the desert. All dead. And there's even another group over here, all dead. So uh, I've been looking, and it seems like these ninjas right here are the culprits. They actually took out all these sand ninjas. So we're gonna try to take them out. I think, I feel like they're gonna be injured, right? Are they injured? Yeah, look, they're limping, they're wounded. Should be an easy, uh, easy take here. So we're gonna go do it right now. I think Belgar is gonna lead the charge. Lead the charge, Belgar. Yes. Okay, here we go. So, uh, yeah, just go ahead and attack, man. You know, you know how to do it. Just, just get that, get that sword out. Uh, everyone's backpacks are still off. And all right, let's do it. Join in on the fray. Come on, everybody. Come on, Hatsuki. Don't, don't be, don't be. Oh man, Every, we're still, still. I mean, obviously, we're still not, not tight yet because Belgar needs a lot of training. He needs lots of training, lots of toughness training. Oh man, he's just like, oh come on, man. Well, I mean, he is fighting ninjas after all, and he's doing pretty all right. I mean, at least he's taking some swings. I just want him to get his offense up too. His offense is really kind of poor. But we'll see. Wait, actually, it says it's, it's 10 now. Oh, yeah, plus 6, so it's 4. Alright. He's getting there. Cool. Well, it's better than 1. Oh, his melee defense went up to 9 over just, like, one fight. Okay, great. So we all getting better real quick. No boots on these guys, though. Nighttime's nearing, and we're getting into Trader's Edge, and I just kind of realized there's police here. There's police in this area. Uh, actually, you know what? We should take this guy out. All right, let's take. Let's just knock him out real quick. Let's uh, let's attack this target. Knock him out real, real. Oh darn it! We're all grouped up, all clumped up together. Come on, let's, let's knock him off balance for a little bit. And then, uh, okay, there we go. Oh my gosh, Belgar got knocked out. Right, he got knocked out cold. He got hit right in the head. Poor guy. All right, everybody. Well, let's go ahead, take this guy out for a uh, real quick job, and then let's check out the uh, what the trader has to sell here. <laughs> Because this is the way of a free man. Oh, Hellion. Yeah, it's a, it's a way of a Hellion, I suppose. There we go. We just knocked him out. All right. No, no that's enough. That's enough attacking. It's enough attacking. All right. All right. Where's the... Uh, oh, there's a slave shop here now, too. Look at that. There's a slave shop right over there. Yeah, it's Bandage of Belgar. He's going to make sure his uh, chest is, is all right. He's going to come to in a little bit. Shouldn't have a coma. Um, oh, reinforcements. A bounty. Oh, they, they recognize Bugkai's bounty. He's starting to become infamous. That's nice. Yeah, I heard the higher your bounty is, the easier it is for people to recognize you. That's pretty neat. That's pretty cool. So, all right, let the bounty rise, man. Let it rise. Let, let the world be, uh... Oh, my goodness. Let the world be at war with us. Assistance. Wow, you know what? I really don't like this heavy armor. I mean, it's so much defense, but we're getting nicked here and there. And we're getting so, like, like, uh... T yeah, see, look at that. We didn't even, like, dodge that. Oh, my gosh. Oh, we got more police on the, on the scene. Oh, darn, this is really bad. This is really bad. Crap. I think we got this, though. F come on, Firehawk. What's what's wrong with everyone? Why is everyone like... Uh-oh. Oh, Belgar. Belgar's back. <laughs> Where'd he come from? Yeah, there we go. All right. So we might survive this after all. Belgar is being a hero. Yeah, I don't even know why. Yeah, his chest. He can't take another hit to the chest, but I think we'll be all right. These cops are calling for reinforcements. All we want to do is go in and buy a sword, man. That's all we want to do. Just buy a sword. There we go. Let him slide on down the hill. And let's get to some bandaging here. Get everyone bandaging up. And that's good. Make sure everyone's gonna... Oh, wow. Hatsuki really got hit. We might have to sneak in here and check out the weapon shop. Yeah, we're probably gonna have to lockpick it and uh, talk to the guy. <laughs> talk to the guy. <laughs> See what he's got for sale. I feel like they have some big blades. We might even liberate the, uh, the slaves here, too. 
Now that the resistance has been dealt with, we're doing a little sneak mission getting into here. We actually got a lot of good loot though from the police chief. I didn't realize we were fighting the police chief, but it seems like uh, Bud Kai's made out the most. We've replaced our heavy plate armor with high grade police armor, high grade pants, high grade chain shirts. I mean, it's amazing. Look at that. 0.47 to, to uh, cut resistance. High grade. So we're all like high grade all around except for our, our headpiece. Uh oh, we got spotted. Uh, but that's just a civilian. Oh, that's a police chief. Oh yeah, he's going off getting some more equipment probably. Yeah, <laughs> we took his weapon and we gave it to someone here. I forget who, but yeah, you know, we got we got good weapons all around, good equipment all around. I mean, even Belgar, he's got like high grade boots and stuff. You know, it's all it's all good all around. So we'll see what we can buy here. We'll see what we can uh, shop around and do and liberate some slaves just before we close out here. Might as well. I really want to see it. I want, I want to try to get a Notici though, like by the end of this episode. Let's, let's try it. Let's actually get Belgar some practice here at lockpicking. Let's see how he does. Hopefully no one's going to see us. Luckily it's nighttime. Oh, he's got some small chance of doing it. And he's raising up his skills just like the rest of us. There we go. And we actually got some, uh, some stealth skill too out of all this stuff. That's cool. Very cool. Did you open it? Oh, he's getting there. He's, he's improving. And the lockpick was a success. All right, so let's see what we got in here. We'll talk to the, uh, woo, talk to the manager. Where are we? Hang on here. Okay, yeah, we'll talk in here. We'll see what they got for weapons. We'll probably just have to, like, just make our way in here, unless they want to trade. Be nice if they want to trade. We have money for some weapons. We, I think we have some things to sell. <laughs> but I'll probably just, uh, oh yeah, the guy's probably sleeping right now. Well, let's go ahead and check out some weapon racks. Bilgar, you want to do the honors? Let's see what we got in here. And this mercenary guy. Oh wait, did they have a uh, notice? Did I just see that? Yeah, they do have it. I was g I guessed it right, but these are pretty crappy ones. Oh, we can find some better ones in here. And we are ninjas in training. This is pretty intense fight in here. Let's get the screen back up. I guess there we go, so we can see all the damage. Oh, it's tight quarters fighting tight quarters. Oh, these guys are a little bit better, I think, than the uh, traders in other places we've dealt with. Oh, actually, we got. Them. It's kind of like a blow for blow right now. Oh, come on, hang in there, guys. Hang in there. Uh, but Kai and everyone is, uh, oh yeah, he's laughing. That guy's laughing his, his butt off. Oh, we got more guards in here. Nice. More guards, more fighting. Bilgar, why are you not fighting? Oh, because you're, was he left-handed? No, he's not left-handed. Let's, let's keep on fighting, man. Keep on fighting. Oh, I think, I think our problem was is that we were fighting one target. I think that's what the problem was. But, uh, but now we're fighting multiple targets. Bilgar, are you stuck? Oh, he's actually stuck in that corner. Darn it. All right, well, he's not available <laughs> for the rest of this fight, I suppose. But I think we'll be doing all right. Clearing out a way for victory. And then eventually clearing out the slaves from this gosh forsaken place. Who's this guy? Who are you? Plastic surgeon. Oh, plastic surgeon. Oh, it looks like the sun's coming out. <laughs> Just right timing. All right. Well, that was enough chaos for one day. My goodness. Do we got, is everyone accounted for? I think so. I think everyone's accounted for. All right, Belgar. At least check this out. All right, right. That's what, the, well, yeah. We'll find something else out. We got our eyes on the prize. We found what we were looking for. Two good class noted cheese here. We got them. Oh, we got this chest open too. Let's see what we got in here. And some toppers. But I'm not really interested in toppers because they're not. Oh, it's a pretty decent noted cheese too. But that's all right though. We just need like the good ones. These two good ones are enough. Yeah, that's enough. Just in case we lose one, we'll have a spare one. And all right. Yes, yeah, so everyone else is going to train with regular katanas. We'll make sure we bandage everyone up in here. And make sure everyone is all. Oh, 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 oh we really missed this guy up. But okay. Oh yeah, yeah, alright, get to this guy. <laughs> he's, he's doing real bad. Alright, but we'll see you guys, I'll see you guys next time. Um, my goodness, we are really, uh, really infamous.